Hey guys, I haven't been here. How many times is that gonna pop up? Okay. <laughs> Ready for the next episode of Skyrim where we're gonna go kill some people. For no good reason other than we're getting paid too. Courier. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. Oh, Narfi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who died? <laughs> right, yeah, the guy you just befriended and killed. Got you. Go search him. Okay, to Dawnstar we go. And now this one. And yes, I know there's a dragon behind me. <coughs> Everything's all right. Right. Some some of them you're better off talking to and make I'm them really attack you, so you don't get a bounty. State your business or take your leave. I represent the Dark Brotherhood. Your death is at hand. What? Well, we'll see about that now, won't we? Do, do, do. I'm pretty sure there was a dragon around somewhere, but I guess I'm good. <clears throat> Yeah, I know my whole point was to do the bow, right? But it's going to be close combat, so you do what you got to do. But the night mother is Sister not true. It is her voice we follow. My friend. Her will. Would you dare risk disobedience and surely punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. I don't like it, Scott. Don't be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The yeah. man has had a long journey. Tell him, Festus. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I, for one, am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! <laughs> sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Right, she seems to get it, she's fair. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? 
Ah, oh, there you are. Good. <clears throat> I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. Oh. Okay, do you have a contract for me? I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure in the shop is Puppy, open. shut up! The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. Muiri? I, I was called her Muiri. Set up the contract and carry it out. May anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. I don't like the way she says that name. Sister of my friend! Wait! Oh, wait! <gasps> I know you. Yes. Yes! From the road, Cicero never forgets a face. <laughs> Cicero, it's you! I am! I am! But not just my mother. Our mother. Hmm? The night mother. Oh, yes. Oh, who guest? <laughs> and you helped me. You helped. Poor Cicero, you of talked course. to Lorius and got him to fix my wheel. Oh, you may have pleased me, but you have surely pleased the Night Mother. And our mother, she will never forget. Well, I appreciate that, Cicero. Um, so why did you come to the sanctuary? The Night Mother's crypt in Braville was... desecrated. <gasps> Imperial province no. is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Oh, really? Such was my honor as keeper. What can you tell me about you, Cicero? Me? Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see, the Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and <laughs> happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. There is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her. Say the words. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> I'm gonna act like I know this stuff. Oh god, my mother is pretty obvious. Uh, yeah, um, that's pretty obvious. Yeah, that's pretty obvious too. Okay, um. <laughs> yes, mistress. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to turn in my. I need to turn in my. Um... Me. Hi. I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. Oh, wow. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Oh. Born under the sign of the Shadow. Really? That's interesting. Okay, I gotta go turn these in so I can go kill somebody else. Yay! Bingy. You Hello. You death, my friend. Yes, Batilda's dead. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder... You like I puns, could do I get it. this all day. Here's your payment. Do, do, do. All right. Um, Enodius Papius is also dead. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Oh, yeah. Your payment. Like he was for a job well oh, yeah, done. north of the lumber mill. Mm hmm. Do you have any more contracts? I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. Okie dokie. Off to meet the client. I'll see you later, Fizzero. He seems happy. Bye, Asher.
Goodbye, door. Alright. Alright. Need something? Why are you looking at me like that? The Dark Brotherhood has come, Miri. The Dark Brotherhood. Oh, oh, I. My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked? Mm, obviously. Now tell me what you need. What I need? What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. I'll need more than that, please. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. Uh -huh. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. All right. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But, well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. Go on. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. Well, good news there. She's already dead. Is there anything else? I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine too. But lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison. Lotus extract. Maybe you could use it? Just coat your weapon with it. Then you get the idea. I mean I probably won't use it, but sure. I don't need a full story. I like how the optional thing is not ticked. I mean, she's already dead. Shouldn't it just automatically get ticked? Uh, oopsie. Rather not deal with a uh, polar bear, arctic bear, snow bear, whatever you want to call it. Oh, hey. Wolf came from, all right.
It's a whole lot easier than normal. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and search these guys. Increased to 99. One more level. Yeah, I don't want to try to get through that fire or pick that lock, so. Shot to the left of them and it went to the right of them. Don't you come out and see? Just leave you completely naked. What the hell? Okay, the consortium key would get me farther in here. I do not want to go farther in this place. Pretty sure that key doesn't do anything here. I still have to pick an expert lock, right? Yeah. And there's no point. Everybody's dead. I can just run back out now. Scholars say that women were an advanced culture. Huh. The Nords outlasted their entire race. So much for being advanced. 
Yeah, except you don't know what happened to them. You see, there is no optional thing for kill Miri, I mean, kill Nilsine, because she's already dead, so let's go to Markarth and see what happens, huh? Do I get my bonus for killing her or no? I know you. Because technically I killed her. Come on in. It was the a while ago. Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Well, what news? Is Elaine... Elaine de Fontenelle lies dead. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your oh, cool. part of the bargain. Please, take this. As payment and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. Yay. Wow. Cool. <laughs> Thank you again for... Yep, if I wasn't already married, I'd consider you are a cute girl. However, you're also kind and night sweet. Because she actually she wanted them dead because... Well, she says it's because she found out that he's a bandit leader. And that's fair, but at the same time, it really made it seem... Like, her anger made it seem like it was because she felt like he betrayed her oh, in some you're way. Back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager. Hmm. Very well. I respect your discretion. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more mm, personal nature. Is yeah, something wrong? It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad. But it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? Probably Are himself. Planning? I fear treachery. You must understand. If Cicero is turning the others against me, against us, our family would not survive such division. What do you want me to do? Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. But that seems so disrespectful. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Okay. Yeah, I'm not go. gonna... Quickly, hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. I can't believe she's having me do this. This is ridiculous. God damn it, Astrid. You're freaking paranoid as all get out. You're calling him crazy? I mean, yeah, he's obviously, you know, something going on with him, but still. Uh, here we go. I'm sorry. Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them. 
and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Warren Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. The words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! The Night Mother spoke to me. She said, I am the one. She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. And there is no listener! Wait. She said to tell you. Darkness rises when silence dies. She... she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then, it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> My sickness, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! Thank you, my friend.
When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Then what in Sith's name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? It's true. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I was the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? I must speak to someone named Amand Motier in Valenrood. Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrood, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. So should I go to Valenrood? I should talk to this man. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Oh, you are the listener! You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> Cicero, did you want to be the listener? Oh, well, yes. I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen. <laughs> tried so hard. But the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost... maddening. Oh, but that was then. This is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper are you excited oh, you should be things are finally looking up still here what's the matter can't handle what I'm throwing your way Aster wanted me to see you for more work well then your timing couldn't be better as it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best to get to it. Does death not come to us all? Is it not a certainty? Okay, yeah, I'm not listening to Astrid. Where the hell is Fallen Root? Not up here somewhere. Hold on. Okay, it seems to be about here, so I'm gonna. Fast travel here, and then I'll get on that mountain and I'll head that direction. Okay, first I'll head this direction. Look at these stones. The ancestors knew how to build. Yeah, I think that's a quest for later place I'll need to go to eventually. Actually, if I recall correctly, that's the place that the like ghost horseman person kind of brings you to if you follow him it's like a ghostly rider that rides around during the night around here 
And I think if you follow him, he brings you there. Alright, is there more? Like, is it the same enemies? Follow me, or... No, it sounds like there's a dragon back there somewhere. Of course. Uh, okay. this uh, this doesn't look like the place I'm looking for I don't think this looks more like lab yeah this is labyrinthian I don't know why my mount went in there should be the one up here then. <laughs> I do not like Labyrinthian. It might not be as bad as I remember. But I still don't want to be there. my mount wouldn't have gone into labyrinthian without me to him. Did that horse kill its rider? people. What the hell are they doing there? Alright, yeah, I don't care what Astrid says. The Night Mother spoke to me. She told me to go here. The Dark Brotherhood has always followed the Night Mother. Master doesn't get to change that. Even if it has to be me, the Night Mother, me and Cicero against the rest of the family. I will do what needs done. Stuck in a weird pose.
By the almighty divines. You've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. The Night Mother heard your pleas, Motier. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say, the work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. Go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets, as well as their manners of elimination, quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. Leaders rise and fall. Business is business. Oh, wonderful. You don't know how happy I am to hear you say that. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. It's as if the very stars are finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these to your... Uh, superior. Rexus, the items. How'd you do that? Here. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. All right. I have how to serve Armand Motier until my dying breath. Best remember that. All right. Okay, let's read this note and see what he wants us to do, huh? Most esteemed overseer, I was already communicate as was already communicated to your subordinate. I wish to hire your organization for some delicate ambassadorial work. All of this, of course, would culminate in a historic meeting with the leader himself. In order to secure an audience with the leaders, some secondary meetings must first take place. They have been outlined below. 1. You must attend the upcoming wedding at the Temple of the Divines in Solitude. The bride must be given a gift she was she will never forget. One that will get all of Solitude to talking and which will undoubtedly reach the ears of the leader himself. Okay, so I'm to, we are to kill the bride. Okay, that's good. A certain high-ranking military officer permanently stationed in Skyrim is responsible for securing the leader's safety should he choose to schedule a visit. When this officer learns of the leader's journey, he will begin the necessary security arrangements. You must learn this officer's plans and meet with his people to ensure appropriate security for your eventual audience with the leader. So, you need to kill a guard, basically, or a soldier. Several months ago, the leader planned a visit to Skyrim that was cancelled unexpectedly. In that time, a world-renowned chef was contacted and brought to Skyrim in order to prepare a lavish meal. That chef remains in Skyrim on retainer. You must meet with him and convince him that it would be your honor to cook for the leader in his place. Okay, so find and kill a chef, take his place. I realize this in these instructions are a bit non-specific, and I and do apologize, but I feel the vagueness is necessary to ensure security. Surely an organization as esteemed as your own has the means and resources to obtain all the essential information before each meeting can take place. When the final part of our arrangement has been carried out, that is, when you have secured an audience with the leader himself and brought such business to a close, I will contact you about final payment. Most sincerely, a friend. Okay, so... What the hell? What the... Weird. Uh... <laughs> uh... Uh... 
Have I looked in here yet? Well, I'm going to fast travel somewhere and see if that fixes that, because that is disturbing as hell, man. Hey, you're fixed. Yay. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.